Hello and welcome to a discussion on the histology of the circulatory system. We're going to look at a bit of the heart and the blood vessels. So remember the heart is a diluted blood vessel. It is going to have three layers which more or less resemble the layers that we're going to find in the blood vessels. The inner layer is going to be the endocardium, then you have the myocardium, then you have the epicardium. The epicardium basically is the visceral layer of serous pericardium, and it's going to be composed of a very thin layer of mesothelium, which when it reaches um, the great vessels, it reflects on itself to become the parietal layer of serous pericardium. The middle layer will be the myocardium, which is cardiac muscle, which we have described in the video on the muscle histology. And the inner layer is the endocardium, which is an endothelium, a sub uh, endocardial layer, a sub endothelial layer, as well as a myoelastic layer between the two. Right. And you also find uh, Pekinja cells uh, within the myocardium, which are going to be larger than the cardiac myocytes. And those Pekinja cells are going to be pale staining due to the abundance of glycogen. Right. Then for the blood vessels, you have basically three main layers. The tunic adventitia is what is thicker in veins. The tunica media is what is thicker in, in the arteries, right? So you have three main layers. There's the tunica intima, which basically has three layers as well. There's the endothelium. Then the second layer will be its basal lamina. Then there is a sub-endothelial layer, which is made up of uh, collagen, connective tissue, and smooth muscle, right? Then that sub-endothelial layer also has an internal elastic lamina, which is going to be fenestrated to allow for diffusion of particles through the vessel wall. Right. Then the intima in veins, it shows projections which are known as valves. Right. Then between an internal elastic lamina and external elastic lamina, you expect to find the tunica media. The tunica media is largely composed of vascular smooth muscle as well as elastic fibers, depending on the arteries or veins that we're talking about. Right. Then, as I said earlier on, the tunica media is going to be larger in arteries as well as in small lymphatic vessels that resemble the arteries. The tunica adventitia is larger in the veins as well as the large lymphatics who histologically, they also resemble the veins. Right. And within the tunica adventitia, we find what are known as vasa vasorum. The vasa vasorum are vessels of a vessel. Right. So to begin with, the large arteries are known as elastic arteries or conducting arteries. For example, you have the aorta, right? In this tunica media, you expect to find about 60 layers of elastic fibers. Uh, and in the space within that, you have some smooth muscle. The diameter of the wall is basically 10 millimeters. And its intima will have the layers that I described as having endothelium and the connective tissue and the smooth muscle within that subendothelial layer, right? Then internal elastic lamina are not clearly seen due to the fact that you have abundant elastic fibers within the tunica media, right? Then the tunica adventitia in those vessels will actually be thinner as compared to the tunica media. And the tunica adventitia will have elastic fibers, it will have connective tissue, right? Then you have muscular arteries, which are the medium arteries. Those are going to be anatomically named arteries. For example, the axillary artery is so named because it's in the axilla. You have the brachial artery so named because it's in the brachium. And you also have the coronary vessels of the heart. Though those are going to be atypical arteries. Right? And within the tunica media of these muscular arteries, you typically find about 40 layers of smooth muscle. And those 40 layers of smooth muscle will be uh, having elastic fibers interspersed among them. Right. You also expect to find some collagen fibers. And unlike the elastic arteries that have fasa vasorum, the muscular arteries may or may not have the vasa vasorum within their tunica adventitia. Then the internal elastic lamina is quite prominent because you can now clearly distinguish the fenestrated elastic fibers from the muscle fibers that are predominating in the tunica media of the blood vessels. Right. Then its adventitia is still going to be thinner as compared to um, the media, and it's going to have some elastic fibers as well as some connective tissue uh, within it. And 
within his tunica intima, it's still the endothelium, it's still the subendothelial layer with the connective tissue, the smooth muscle. And like I said, the internal elastic lamina is going to be prominent. Right? Then you get to the small arteries. The small arteries are going to have an endothelium with connective tissue. You that connective tissue will be less as well as um, less smooth muscle. And you also see the internal elastic membrane or the internal elastic lamina, right? In terms of the tunica media, you have three to 10 layers of smooth muscle. And um, within the tunica advent tissue, it's still going to be thinner as compared to the tunica media, which we said it predominantly is larger and in the arteries. Right. And then you have connective tissue and some elastic fibers within that uh, adventitia. Right. Then from there, you get to the arterioles. The arterioles have no connective tissue or smooth muscle in their tunica intima. Right. Uh, or in other arterioles, you say it is going to have a tunica intima with an endothelium and very little um, connective tissue and smooth muscle. The tunica media will have about one to three layers of smooth muscle, right? Then you also have an adventitia, which is quite thinner, and it's going to have the same elastic fibers and a bit of um, collagen fibers and connective tissue. Right? Then from there, you talk about the capillaries, which are one cell thick. The capillaries only have a tunica intima, which has an endothelium without a subendothelial layer. There is no tunica media and there is no tunica adventitia. Within the capillaries, you find um, pericytes, which are which have a contractile function and they also act as stem cells. Right. Then from the capillaries, you get to the venues. The venues have no adventitia and they have no valves. Uh, only endothelium within their intima, and they have smooth muscle that is scattered in the tunica media, right? Depending on the venue, you have post-capillary venues, then you have muscular venues. Post-capillary venues will also have the pericytes and they don't have the tunica media, but the muscular venues will have a tunica media with smooth muscle, uh, about one to three layers of smooth muscle fibers, right? Then if you look at the adventitia, there's no adventitia in the post-capillary venues, but the muscular venues will have an adventitia which is a bit thicker as compared to um, the media. Remember the adventitia is the one that is thicker in the blood vessels. Right? Then you get to the small veins, then you get to the medium veins. The small veins of an endothelium with um, a subendothelial layer that is connective tissue with about one to two layers of smooth muscle. Then you also have the medium veins have the same, but in the medium veins, you also now see an internal elastic lamina, right? For the small veins, the tunica media uh, is also going to have smooth muscle. Then for the medium veins, you also have smooth muscle and a bit of collagen fibers. Then if you look at the adventitia, the adventitia are going to be bigger as compared to the tunica media. And right? then you find connective tissue, you find elastic fibers there, right? Then, for the large veins, they have a very thick tunica adventitia and they have more than five layers of um, smooth muscle. They've, they're described to have at least two to 15 layers of smooth muscle within their tunica media. And they're also going to have collagen, collagen fibers. Then the endothelium is going to be there with a subendothelial layer with connective tissue, smooth muscle. And diameter wise, just like the large uh, conducting arteries, they're also going to have a diameter that is greater than uh, 10 millimeters, right? Then a clinical correlate is atherosclerosis, which is the formation of um, plaque uh, in the arteries consisting of foam cells. You have fat, you have debris, right? Then you also have some cells there which are going to be the T lymphocytes. Then we move straight to look at the lymphatics. Remember the lymphatics, we said they're going to have a histology that somehow resembles the histology of the, the blood vessels, vessels that I've just described. So the smaller lymphatics resemble the arteries. The larger lymphatics would then resemble your would then resemble your your veins, right? Then the next segment will now look at the pictures which show. Uh, the histology of the circulatory system.
So the slide here is, is showing uh, heart tissue taken from an atrioventricular septum. This here will be our endothelium, right here. That's endothelium. This here is connective tissue. This right here will be the atrioventricular node. Right. This would be an atrioventricular node. Then this year, what you see here, this looks like dense connective tissue. You can appreciate dense connective tissue here. Right. Then, um, oh, this is atrial tissue. This is all the atrium. Right. Then, in this region here, all this tissue here, this is now going to be ventricular tissue. Remember I say this slide is showing an atrial ventricular septum, right? So this dense connective tissue uh, separates the atrial tissue there from the ventricular tissue there. Then the bottom slide is um, showing the coronary artery and the coronary um, and a vein, rather a cardiac vein. So this here, this is the artery. That's a coronary artery. Right. This year, that's going to be a cardiac vein. Right. Within this, so this all blood inside the vein there. Right. Then that's blood again in a vessel. So that's an artery. Right. Then this year. This is all adipose tissue. Remember, histologically, you say the coronary vessels lie in the epicardium and they'll be cushioned by adipose tissue, which you find in, in your pericardial layers. So oh, this, this is uh, adipose tissue. Right. Then this is an example of uh, an elastic vessel. This here is particularly a slide for the iota. On the outside here, you have an endothelial layer. Right? Then all these, this is the tunica media, which is elastic fibers. All this, these are elastic fibers. This region here, this is loose connective tissue. Then this outer region here, where there's a bit of dense connective tissue, this is now the adventitia. Right? Within the adventitia of this, Conducting vessels. Remember, we said you find fascia fasciola. That's a blood vessel there. Then, um, if you move to this one, this is an example of a muscular artery. Right, that's a muscular artery. Uh, if you look at this, all oh, this, right, that's your media. And starting from this side here, yeah, that's your endothelium. Right. And this here, the lining there, that's the internal elastic um, membrane or the internal elastic lamina, which we say you can clearly see in a muscular artery. Right. Then this is tunica media, and all this will be smooth muscle. Right. Then on the outside here, there is tunica adventitia. Right. The tunica adventitia will have dense connective tissue and so forth. Um, if you look at this one, these are still muscular vessels. This is an artery, this is a vein. On the left is the artery, on the right is the vein. This is endothelium. Right. This is endothelium as well. For the artery, you can see this membrane, the internal elastic membrane, right, following the contours of the, the endothelium. This is the tunica media, quite thick, and it has smooth muscle fibers. Then this here is the adventitia, right? Within the adventitia, we can see the presence of um, this right here. Right. And those, those are blood vessels, right? Then this is uh, a medium vein, endothelium there. This is the tunica media, the bit of smooth muscle fibers, and all this now, it's now the tunica adventitia. Oh, this is now the tunica adventitia. Right. Then 
you come to this one, this shows you arterioles, for example. This is an arterial. Uh, this is another arterial there, right? But this is a venue. Right? This is an arterial, that's an arterial, that's a venue right there. Right? Then right here, this is nerve tissue, no lumen there. That's, that's a nerve. Then if you come here, this is dense connective tissue. Right. This is adipose tissue right there. This is dense connective tissue. This is a Pacinian corpuscle. If, if you have watched the video on skin histology, that's a Pacinian corpuscle, meaning we are somewhere in skin. Right. Then all oh, this, that's an arterial now. Right. Then this is a lymphatic vessel. Just appreciate that they also have valves that evolve. Those are projections of the intima. Right. Then this is a classic picture of a capillary. Capillaries are one cell thick. That's a capillary. Then you also expect to find pericytes in the surrounding your, your endothelial cells in a capillary, right? That's just about it.